Hello, my name is Bryce Tubbs. With me today is Alicia Pollock. I'm super excited to be able to have this conversation with her because she's been doing a lot of great work and we've been knowing each other for about probably about a year and a half, but we've never had a, a full conversation until today. So I'm super excited because she's amazing at technology training and just a lot of cool stuff that I think that my audience can get a, a really good amount of value from. So Alicia, if this is okay, asking, because I know we, we didn't really talk about this question, but I'm just really intrigued. But what is your process for, maybe you have an existing program of how you do the training. For you to make a version of 2.0, what is your process of doing that? You mean updating updating content. I'm yeah. Sure. So for example, like um, myself right now, I have, I have a program, right? Most of my stuff is focused on like coaching and mentorship, where it's more of the direct going and going, going. So as a result, most of my program has been about filling in gaps inside of that coaching. So right now I'm going and making a version 2.0, but I have a certain process I'm looking. So I'm just trying to see how can I augment my process? Sure. I mean, all the content that I have in my library directly stems from my interactions with my clients that it started my first QBO course, which is a six hour kind of all day course was because I was setting up people's QuickBooks and teaching them how to use it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm doing the same stuff over and over and over again with all of these clients. So I created a class and at first it was a live class that all of my clients would all come together and all take the same class at the same time. So we would have like my 10 current setup clients all in the same room. And that was kind of the magic of, of internet that now it's not time-based or location-based. I don't even teach live classes anymore. It's all, it's all web-based. So then what happens after that six hours, I mean, anybody who knows QuickBooks knows that you can't learn everything in QuickBooks in six hours. So then it became a matter of, okay, well, what else do I need to talk about? Okay, reports. And I made a two-hour class just on reports. Understanding the chart of accounts. I've got a two hour class just on understanding the, the chart of accounts or like the project center came out when it was brand new. I made a two hour course just on using the project center, which then the next time I taught, it was like, okay, well, I want to talk more about job costing also. So because QuickBooks is always changing, I have to re-record my content at least once every two years, if not once every six months. And so I'm always now looking at the curriculum when I'm planning the next course to see what's still solid, what needs to be updated, and what have I learned since then that I can now build into the courses. And so I've got over 40 different classes that are just little deep dives into different twists on the information, right? Like how to use the Go Payment app now has its own course instead of being part of the bigger picture. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time. I appreciate getting to know you. I know that you, that, that your flight was rescheduled. So I'm like happy that we're able to get this yeah. thing like going. And I really appreciate you doing that. And thank you for those watching. Really appreciate you. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, go and join her group. Go join my group. And then we'll, we'll see you guys inside. Can't wait to add some value to you guys.